same fantastic YouTube view set up. I'm just gonna um, touch up my makeup. I got up this morning and um, it's Saturday so now we are going to my brother's house for my niece's birthday party. Her birthday is not until the 8th but her party is today and I was supposed to film a video for my main channel and I was too tired. I was just too tired, I couldn't do it. Um, so, I took like a little nap. So I'm just gonna touch up my makeup a little bit. And, um, I'll show you guys the outfit. It's it's black again, head to toe. It's hilarious. There's one little detail, and I'll explain it. Um, I'm just gonna grab my eyeliner wherever it is. Oh, oh here's. But anyway, I did get up and like got ready and for the day, and um, assuming I was gonna film my video today for my main channel. I was going to film what I want for Christmas and then obviously couldn't get myself to want to film so we'll just work on that next week. I've got Loxy here in the backdrop but for the party I decided um, because it's a Grinch theme I wanted to do a little nod to that so that's what I did here with the jacket. I've had this a vest, not a jacket, a vest, puffer vest for a really long time actually. I don't even remember where I originally got it. And then just decided to be casual about everything else. Now the green socks, I'm gonna replace the green socks with black socks because I'm just gonna wear, um, I think I might wear my quilted shoes from Walmart. I'm not really sure what shoes I'm gonna wear actually. But anyways, so we just have leggings. I have on a black shirt just so that um, I could have some length. And then I added a black sweatshirt to the top and then the vest. So, and obviously just a hat to top the whole look. I don't know why, but I feel like I look like... I feel like I look like I've lost my shape somehow in this. And it's most likely this... Yeah, it's this jacket here. I feel like it's just not ultra flattering, but there, you know what? I'm just gonna deal with it today, but I'm gonna pick out my shoes and then I gotta get going. And the this is what the presents look like. When I did the wrapping part for the vlog before this one, I thought I got like the, the shot of all of them together, but I guess I didn't. But these are the two bags I ended up going with. I went with this one that kind of looks like bubbles to me and then did a hot pink tissue, a purple lavender tissue with the mermaid tail bag and then I did the presents with the bows. As usual, the quality's not great at night but I went to Dallas. Why does my hat look weird? Oh, I think it's a shadow right there. I went to Dallas and um, for my niece's birthday so that was really fun but I was, I think you guys caught it, I was just tired. So it just kind of felt like I was in a funky, tired mood, but she was completely adorable as usual. And I just got home and I'm taking Loxy for a walk. Come on! To let her, you know, stretch her legs and yeah. So I really don't think that this vlog will kind of be very much, but most of the time anyway, my weekend vlogs, I try to make them shorter on time. I'm back home now from the walk and I didn't even make my bed today. I'm telling you, it was, it was a day and you know what? That's fine because, you know, if your body needs rest, definitely that's what I was trying to do. I was just trying to listen to it. I didn't even move Loxy's bed, so we both just... It was just a thing for both of us, I guess, today. 
I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of set the mood in my room, get it nice and cozy and try to turn around at least the remaining few hours of the night. See if that will work to make me feel a little bit better. I'm gonna turn these on as well, which are kind of hard to do. on um this is a sweater that i was gonna wear to today's party and then it's just kind of ruined i know there's a tool on amazon that you can buy that will like clean up a sweater but i'm gonna be going through my closet pretty heavily and getting rid of a ton of stuff so um yeah i'm gonna be doing another sweep by the way i do have a poshmark account um, this particularly I will donate, but I will be doing an update to my Poshmark account in January. So I'll probably be dropping a ton of things. Plus my daughter got rid of a ton of really cute things and um, like pretty much brand new shoes and a lot of things. So I will be listing those on Poshmark again in January. But I have a store that's open now. It's linked down below. Plus there's like a sign up bonus that if you sign up using my link, you get... I think like $10 to shop and yeah. So anyways, um, that's why that was on the floor. I'm gonna, I was gonna start a donation pile, but I'm gonna get it off the floor and then I'm gonna try to fix my bed. I need to grab my charger cause I'm gonna go sit out in the living room. But as most of you know, I do like to get my room ready. Grab this pillow. I'm also going to grab Loxie's bed, even though we'll probably be in here in a few hours to go to sleep. I know that she loves her bed, and I'm going to hang out in the living room and probably watch one movie. So I'll bring this out there so she can get nice and cozy. I'm cozy on the couch now. I threw my hair up. I did wash my makeup off, but I did not do a stitch of my skincare routine. Like, I should put on some moisturizer or something, and girl, I could not be bothered. It's just a sit on the couch. I had a piece of my daughter's uh, birthday cake. I think that's all I've had today. And let me show you my toe. Oh, I didn't tell you guys because I posted it on my Instagram last night, but I think I broke my toe. I It hurt pretty bad and I have broken my big toe before and let me tell you that pain was absolutely excruciating to the point where you I couldn't even think of anything because the pain was so intense. So I knew for a fact that like I broke my big toe. Um, so I knew what that pain felt like basically, and this obviously wasn't even close to that level because the big toe is a bigger bone, but I am going to show you my feet. So if you're not into feet, this is that warning. I'm just looking at it from this view, I don't know why my camera is not focused, but from this view, you can just clearly tell that it's this one right here. It's just bruised. And it's a mess. Uh, if you're wondering, how'd I do that? I basically stubbed it on the chair in my bedroom. Just sitting here, trying to be snuggly, trying to wind down and just, I guess if I was gonna have an off day and not get my work done like I needed to, I might as well just, you know, sit here and just really let my body relax. Now that we're done looking at my feet, um, this is basically it. I'm just gonna sit here watch Home Alone. I could probably build a fire, but I'm not even on that level tonight. I'm not on the level of having any sort of mental energy because physically, like, does that make sense? Physically, I actually feel pretty fine. I'm sure I could get up and vacuum and do a load of laundry and, and dishes and all the, all the things, but mentally, I'm just like, no. Honestly, I wish I had some of my puzzles down here with me. The new one that I found from Dollar Tree, the one that's like the number puzzles. I was shook when I found that. Um, I wish I had that right next to me, but you know what? It's in my room, but I don't want to get up and go get it. So I'm just going to sit here.
here's how cozy the room looks. Turn off that lamp because I switched places. I think I honestly just need to, a new mattress because this one's been killing my back. Um, so I just have to like constantly rotate because I, if I stay too long in one spot, I just, I dip too much in the hip area. And so then like my back just is taking a lot of pressure, I think. I mean, I've tried putting the pillow and all. It's just, it just hasn't worked for me. So eventually I think I'm gonna update the mattress here, but I've got my lights on and I've been running Frasier in here just to kind of make the space really cozy. And even though I'm not in here, um, I know that this is happening. So for some reason, it's just like cozy in my mind, I guess. And just, I guess, to kind of end this vlog on some plans for this room after the new year but I want to do curtains which I've already mentioned not too long ago but um, originally when I first decorated this space when I moved in I did a forest theme so those are just like my Christmas prints obviously for Christmas time winter time but after um, I don't know if I'll go back to forest right away I think I'm gonna do like a beach theme in the summer and then maybe the forest prints for fall but then for spring I think I might do something different. So I don't know. What do you guys think should be my my concept for spring? Um, obviously, I'm doing very like outdoorsy, earthy type stuff. So the forest prints, like I said, will be my fall, and then this will be my winter. And then for summer, like I said, I'm thinking like an ocean concept. Um, and then, but what for spring? I mean, I could do mountains again, but maybe they couldn't. I could do mountains because the other one are like trees, foresty. Maybe I could do like some type of spring mountain or something. I don't know. Drop your suggestions down below on what you think should be in those.